Hi guys, this is Brandon Steckline, and today I'm doing part one of a new series I'm going to put together on uh, how to make maps, your own maps, on Death3D. I am the developer of Death3D. It's uh, released under my company, Ape Apps, and what we're going to do is get started with a basic map, no frills, just to uh, see how the level editor works and how to make something, and in the next few parts we'll make the map more and more advanced. So here we go. First thing we're going to do is hit the level editor. wait for it to load and we're starting here with the blank map so let's uh, just start out by giving it a name this is going to be a testing map okay the first thing we want to do is make some walls. If you look down in the corner, this here shows what texture you currently have selected and you'll have a top a middle and a bottom dot. The top stands for ceiling, the middle is wall, and the bottom is floor. You don't have to have ceilings or floors, but you have to have walls. So we're going to keep it in the middle, and if you click on that texture, it'll show up a little pop-up of all the different textures you can use. We're just going to take this basic one, and when you click on the map, it'll add your wall. And if you do a click and then a quick double click you'll get into a painting mode so here we're making a wall and we got a room and next to it I will put another room then we'll go over to our texture and we'll find a door which door do I want um, That's fine. We'll put a door right there. And then down here where it says spawn, that's how we create a player spawn point. We'll put one right there. And if you click on him, you can choose the direction he's facing. East is fine. So let's save our map. We'll go to quit. And then to test it out, we'll go to single player, custom map, and pick our testing map. And here we have our room. As we can see though, it's really dark in here, so we're going to have to add lighting. I didn't mean to leave full screen mode. Let's get that back. Alright, so we're going to go back into our map. When you load the level editor, it should come to your last map. Now there's a couple ways you can do lighting, but the easiest one is just to open up the settings and go to base lighting. And our ambient light here is only at 7.5%. So if we crank that up to 100, save it, and we try our map out now, now we can see. And maybe 100 was a little high, but because things kind of look washed out a little bit. So, we'll go turn it down, get my full screen back. It's kind of annoying every time I hit escape. Okay, so we are going to go and change our base lighting down to 80. That's probably good. Now, these two here are the colors of the ceiling and the floor. So we can come in and take our ceiling and make it light blue. We can take our floor, make it green, yikes, and we can also add items. If we go down here to uh, this button that says power ups and click on that, I think our character probably needs a shotgun, so we'll set that right there. Let's save our map and go ahead and see what it looks like in the game. All right, now we got a shotgun, we got our colorful ceiling, we got our green floor. Our lighting's a little better now. You know, it's fun to shoot the wall, but obviously we're gonna need enemies in this map. So, one last thing for this first part of the tutorial. Let's add an enemy. 
we can add let's see we'll just add this guy this is the uh, texture I first used for debugging when I started making this engine and I think it's funny to put them in there so let's go back to our custom map pick up our shotgun uh oh there's our enemy got him alright one last thing I'll show you here for part one when we're in the level editor we can hit here and go to export and it'll save our map to our disk so we can share it with our friends so this is part one of the death 3d level editing tutorial um, next time we'll go through some more intense stuff this is a pretty basic level but you can do a whole lot more with this editor and with this engine so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more and if you want to download death 3d or play it I'll have links in the video description so thanks for watching